when I think of West Bridgewater, I guess I think of the, the generations before me and their faces and their hearts, and that's that's what I love about it, and hopefully can give that to the next generations and, you know, make everyone feel like it's a good place to live and a good place to be. My name is Healy Ryan, and the small town of West Bridgewater has been my home for almost my whole life. It's where I have grown up and attended school since kindergarten. As a senior at West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School, I look back at the time I have gotten to spend in this town and realize how grateful I am to have grown up here, as well as the impact it has had on me, the people before me, and the impact it will have on generations to come. So we moved to West Bridgewater just after Thanksgiving in 2016, so a little bit more than a year. I was down to Lakeville and West Bridgewater, and I knew the fire chief, Lenny Hunt, and talked to him about uh, what West Bridgewater had available for us. We saw the house and we were sold. And I think also the proximity to Boston really helped us make the decision just because it's really easy for me to get into Boston to work and for our son to get to Wentworth to go to school. And we also have a daughter at Bridgewater, so it's really easy for her to get to school. So my cousin, who was our realtor at the time, um, brought us to this lot that was going to be built on. Um, and it was really rural and it seemed like in the middle of all these farms. It was totally different from what we thought we were looking for, but we loved it. And um, we just decided to go for it and we knew no one in the town. I grew up in uh, West Bridgewater. I moved here when I was 11 and before that it was East Bridgewater. Um, in this house uh, pretty much the whole time. He was in uh, the military, so we lived in North Carolina and Germany for a couple of years, and then we moved back here. Um, my family bought a house in Bridgewater when I was um, a sophomore at Weeby, and I thought I was going to this great big high school, and there was going to be all this diversity and these really cool kids. And there were some cool kids, and I made some lifelong friends, and I had some good teachers. But I graduated from BR in a uh, and um, I went to two of the reunions, and all of the I've been to three reunions for West Bridgewater. I go to West Bridgewater's reunion. I didn't graduate from there. I, like that's the difference between Weeby as a small town community and BR. A sense of community. Um, I've been to town meeting and the people are, are friendly and willing to, to chat with you. We've gotten in with the scouting community, Boy Scouts, and some of the soccer folks. So we're, you know, probably living through our children are starting to connect with the community and uh, slowly doing it that way. I've connected a little bit through the fire department. I was a firefighter on Cape Cod, so I've connected a little bit through the fire department. I'm definitely more involved in the business because of, I mean, in the community because of the business. I uh, really got to know a lot of people and they asked me to participate in a lot of the local events, donations, things like that. So I really uh, get involved because of the business. I've participated in a lot of the proms, of course, um, graduations, uh, West Bridgewater Park Day. A major aspect of what separates this town from others and makes it so great is the sense of community that West Bridgewater has to offer. From town traditions to town elections to events taking place at the high school, it is very easy to get involved and to see what the community has to offer. One of my favorite town traditions is Park Day because I got to volunteer for the athletic boosters and I got to jump in the town river and fish out all the ducks, which is really exciting. In one year when the river was dry, we went in a dunk take dunk tank and put all of the ducks in the dunk tank and I got dunked and I got to pick out the winning duck when I was falling down and just grab it. <laughs> that was the winner. And I also think that Grand March is a really cool different thing that our town does because nobody really gets to see everybody's dresses and I think like the parents really like that. The Grand March, I know that we're not the only small town that does it, but the Grand March and really just the things uh, pertaining to the high school that they do. Um, the bonfire, which kind of went by the wayside this last year or two, but, um, and 
formerly the senior class play, but of course now Mr. WB I think is one of the greatest things we've got going on. Mr. WB was the highlight of senior year probably, because everything leading up to it was super stressful and school started crashing down on you, and then it was this really fun show and you got to hang out with your friends for like two hours for, I don't know, a bunch of weeks and it was just really fun. And then the night of the show comes and everybody just had a great time and the parents laugh, so I mean, we accomplished that goal. West Bridgewood is unique in many different ways, one of which being the School Choice Program. School Choice is a lottery system that allows students from other towns to come to school to fill up the remaining spots open in each class. When my son was in the sixth grade and was not a real happy camper here in town, um, had some issues and I had a lot of issues dealing with the special ed department and his cousin who attended West Bridgewater had um, School Choice her way into BR well, just Bridgewater, because she was still eighth grade. And she did it for the same reason I thought I was going to enjoy moving, that it was going to be so diversified and it was gonna be this great big community, not so little community school and all these cool kids. And she described it as a utopia that only existed in her mind, which um, I could relate to. So she came back to West Bridgewater and my son said, I wanna go to school where she goes to school. And um, we did the school choice application and we were met with a very different attitude regarding um, his SPED and how they dealt with it. And um, I forced my daughter at gunpoint to attend junior high there, seventh and eighth grade. She fought me tooth and nail. Um, I told her she could go to BR if she wanted to. She wanted to go there because she wanted to do high school gymnastics. So we got her a gymnastics team actually co-teamed with where she would have been anyway. And uh, state champions last year, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anyway, so we fought to get that too. Um, but, so they both ended up starting in the seventh grade and I always said Adam went from zero to hero. He was really super happy there and academically did well. And of course he rocked the whole running thing and it was his ticket into college and the rest as they say is history. I came here my freshman year, which was 2014. I chose to come to West Bridgewater because I came from a really big school and not a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one attention with teachers and just a lot of a lot of stuff going on and a lot of students that needed more help and more attention than me were getting that attention versus the students who um, were more academic and wanted more school opportunities, so I decided that I wanted to get out of the big school and come to a small town where I could get those one-on-one -on -one opportunities with teachers. Yeah, it was actually amazing how many kids still wanted to come to West Bridgewater, uh, especially the last two years before we moved into the new building, because the building was tired and <laughs> falling down around us, as you know, <laughs> with ceiling tiles falling, etc. But um, we still got a lot of kids with school choice applications, and I believe it's because they like the personalization that the West Bridgewater public schools, especially the, the high school, gives them. Every kid I talk to, most parents I talk to, like that they know their teachers, that the teachers know them, that they have this personalized relationship with the adults in the building. And I think having that small school feel, a lot of kids will come from larger schools and say, I just feel like I'm not just a member when I come to West Bridgewater. So the building wasn't great, but the feeling and the culture inside it was great. Ceilings were falling down. I mean, it was really kind of an old, messy building, but it's not always the container. It's what's inside. Um, we, again, we just met with a whole different attitude. Um, they implemented um, a great IEP, and he did super well. It wasn't I couldn't even compare the attitude that I dealt with in West Bridgewater at the school as to Bridgewater Rainham, and I've actually helped advocate to a number of my clients whose kids go to Bridgewater Rainham School District and have to deal with the special ed department because now I know, well, this is what happens when they actually do it correctly and follow the laws and implement it correctly, and wow, what a difference. I think school choice is a really good idea. I like how I made a bunch of new friends that I wouldn't have made 
if they never had the program. It also helped with our sports teams because they were good assets to the team. They brought in new like drills and just background from different coaches that we didn't have growing up in like a small town. So it was just good to kind of expand your horizons from little West Bridgewater and meet new people and meet their friends and see like how life's different just a town over. I think when I first came to West Bridgewater, I felt like I was going to feel like an outsider, especially because I knew that everyone had been together since kindergarten or even preschool, and it's a very small grade. We have like 95 kids graduating, and I knew that most people have known each other since they were little, but I didn't realize how many other kids when I came were also going to be school of choice. Um, coming in my grade alone, I think there were about eight to 10 of us just coming in my freshman year. And that made it really a smooth transition, knowing that a lot of the other kids had made smooth transitions before or were making them while I was also joining. So I didn't really ever feel like an outsider once I actually came to the school. I definitely had to adjust, which you have to do moving to any new town, but I think since West Bridgewater has a School of Choice program, they're very used to new people coming and they're very good about it. Choice is beneficial to both students who come from other towns as well as students who are residents of West Bridgewater, giving the students who do reside in town the opportunity to meet new people and learn new things. A lot of what makes the school system so great is the small size of the schools, the teachers, administration, and staff. They reached over and above everybody from with Seismic Act at the beginning, um, Sfontecchio, then Mark Bodwell. Uh, they just, they reached over and above every day for everything he dealt with. And now for when I'm volunteering, um, they helped get the gymnastics team off the ground. They have helped get Mr. WB off the ground. We've just gotten support, support, support. And I, I think it's the size of the community and I think it's the mentality of the community from their selectmen to, I think just the whole, it's a small group and it works together really well. The teachers and the leaders, the administration, they, they're friendly, they communicate, they make it work, they really, um, I think are in touch with the kids from what I can see and uh, a lot of communication. I feel like the small town aspect of West Bridgewater really helped me growing up because I got really close with my teachers I love them enough just to invite them to my grad party, but <laughs> I felt comfortable going to them for like guidance if I had any questions or concerns or just stuff about school or if I just wanted somebody to talk to. They turned into more of like a mentor more than a teacher, which I really liked after you obviously like have them in class for long enough that you just can build a very strong connection with them. I have better relationships with my teachers here. I have a better relationship with administration here. And I've had a lot more opportunities because the school is smaller to get more involved with the activities I'm in. I think my favorite part about living in West Bridgewater is the schools. Because before we moved here, our youngest son who is 11 and a half was homeschooled. And so that was a lot of work for me and having a school that's small enough that suits his needs and fits him is really fantastic about West Bridgewater for me. And I like my neighbors. I mean, the day we were moving in, yeah. all three neighbors came over, introduced themselves, gave us phone numbers. I mean, we felt like we were home in less than 24 hours. Right. And uh, I have great neighbors in Falmouth. I have super neighbors here in West Bridgewater. In the same sense, as the teachers and administration are making the school so great, it is the people that are what make the community this way. I guess most of our experience so far, since our kids aren't in the schools yet, has been with our neighbors. Um, and the three new houses that they build next to us um, are all young families, and it's been a really nice experience um, getting to know their kids and um, their in-laws. They're both in law home so it's like a little village here. Um, so that's kind of been our main experience so far. Um, it's all been positive. Everyone we have met has been really friendly and inviting um, but we haven't really gotten involved in a lot of town stuff yet. We haven't been involved in sports and school yet. I remember one actually one boy he um, he first came here he was a newsboy newspaper guy he delivered the newspaper and uh, 
He was about 11, 12. And then I did his prom flowers, and then he got married, and I did their wedding flowers, and then he had a baby, and I did the flowers when they, they had the baby. I'm fortunate that being here as superintendent for a long time, this is my 12th year, so for this year's senior class, we've gone from first grade all the way through 12th grade together. It's just nice now that I get to see kids on their first day of school in their total education and on their last day and see what they've grown into and how successful they've become and how ready that they are to go out to the world because of what we've done here in the West Bridger schools to help prepare them. I love seeing that. I think educational wise, West Bridge has definitely prepared me to go on to the next chapter for me, which is college. Um, I think they've really given me the tools and the understanding to be able to take college level courses through AP courses and honors classes and being challenged by teachers. I also think um, the leadership opportunities I've been able to have at West Bridgewater have also prepared me for stepping out into the real world when looking you know, into my future and jobs and careers, etc. Like the classes, clubs, leadership positions I've been able to take on at West Bridgewater have really shaped me into like the person I am, along with helping me figure out what I want to be in the future. The graduations are just so touching, and so many students really, really look like they work to their potential. I think they give you a lot of opportunities. For a small town, it's really amazing. They don't have Brockton's funding. They don't have Taunton's funding. They don't have BR's funding. Um, but they do really amazingly well with what they have to work with, so. Like with the new school, we have a lot, not a lot more, things going on, but we do a better job of advertising the things like plays, World Culture Night, just little random events that the school sponsors. They do a better job with like the TV screen out in front of the school, just advertising that to the town. And I think the new school is just somewhere that everybody can meet and congregate like for craft fairs and all that sorts of stuff. I think we've always had a good dynamic between the community and the school. Uh, I think what it's done for the community though is it's really proud of the new building and it shows that the community supports education, which they do and they always have in West Bridgewater. I think it also um, sets them apart and makes them um, look like, uh, let people realize that they are looking to the future as, as a type of a community. In the time that I have lived here, I have watched the town grow exponentially, with new businesses coming in, intersections getting busier, and new houses being built. Still, the town maintains the feeling of a tight-knit community. Of course, I've noticed it's grown a lot. There's a lot of new developments. Um, bigger corporations have come in. I won't name any names, but <laughs> a lot of them have made me change how I look at my business and how I do business because I can't compete with big companies that can sell or buy flowers at a different price than I can, so I had to reevaluate and just change things a little bit, but um, definitely a lot of growth, and it's it's good to see the plaza down at Hockamock have the rotating star again. There's a lot of, like, I would think what has been here for years of rural, working class people, um, mixed with a lot of new families coming in, um, a lot of new homes being built, um, people looking to raise their families here and send their kids to school here. It's, it's a great community. I think there's some growth issues that we're going to participate in, you know, whether they put a traffic light at East Street and 106, um, because we actually go a different way to avoid the intersection. The town now owns a golf course. Uh, there'll be water issues as the town continues to grow and, and commercial buildings come in. So, but we don't see anything bad. We just see growth and we participated in it when we lived in Mashpee and Falmouth and we'll participate as we live here. It's part of a community growing. Even though the town has its challenges, the personal relationships in school, the connections to the community, and the amazing people we get to interact with are what make the town remarkable. I think that the size of West Bridgewater is one of its greatest perks and downfalls because everybody knows you and everybody knows each other's business and sometimes in a small town you can just feel kind of like closed in and I think like right now at the end of high school I'm ready to leave West Bridgewater. I loved growing up here but it just seems too small at the moment and I kind of want to branch out and try new things. 
every community is going to have its good and bad things, but it's um, I on on the whole, I think people really keep that small town feel, and um, you know it's interesting to watch the posts on the West Bridgewater Hub. I think it's a nice community, small community, and they band together and they're supportive of the high school and they're supportive of all the schools and their students and you know going around to the businesses in town looking for support when we have fundraisers whether it be athletic boosters or music boosters and Mr. WB committee um, we've always gotten great response so on the whole I think Weeby's got it going on I love the size of the town I think it's really a great addition um, because it's when you get so big you know yes there's benefits you can have more soccer teams but it's it's just that small town feel where you know you can walk up into town and you're probably going to see someone you know or if you go to one of the events we went to an event and three different people came up and said hello to our 11 year old and i mean you get to know people pretty easily because you see the same faces so I think the small town is really nice about it. I really enjoy being here because of the people. Um, I, I like being part of their lives. Uh, it really makes my job worthwhile and fun, and it's, I um, appreciate all the people that come in and make my business a place like home. This has been my primary home, so this, this feels like home to me, and I, I love the people here, and I love the small town feel. Um, and. When I was in East Bridgewater, I didn't go to school there, so I didn't really feel like I lived in East Bridgewater. Um, and when we lived, you know, in, in the other places with the military it was, and in college, um, you know, it's it's I guess kind of fun to go out and meet new people. But West Bridgewater feels like home to me. So this, you know, this is my community, my people. I'm appreciative for West Bridgewater and appreciative for their School of Choice program for allowing kids to come in from different towns and really reap the benefits of the school system we have here. I think I wouldn't be where I am today or the person I am today without West Bridgewater and the teachers and the people I've met here. And I'm definitely grateful and appreciative that they do have this program and allow children who may not be happy in their own school systems or maybe looking for a change or a different experience to come into their town and really get to become a part of their community even if they don't live in the community. Coming out of the West Bridgewater school system, I feel almost overly prepared for college. I think they did a really good job of testing our time management skills because they always pushed for kids to get involved with clubs, sports, and to keep strong academic grades. So I feel like I'm prepared to go to college. People in this community come together when people have a tough time. People in this community support each other. Um, they're always doing projects for each other. We have probably some of the things like the food pantry. We're a small town. We have a really, really active, big food pantry. Um, people that do things like that. And there are all these other organizations and, and um, charities and things, and people always putting their best foot forward. And I can say from my perspective, it's just that family feel. No matter who you are, if you've been here just for a short time or you've been here your whole life, people accept you as part of the family. And I know for myself, like I said, starting here when I was so young, I feel like I grew up here, you know, and I've always loved the town of West Bridgewater. As I prepare to head off to college, I look back at my time spent in West Bridgewater and cannot imagine having grown up anywhere else. I realize now that it is because of the size of the town and the people that live here that I have been able to create so many memories and I have had so many opportunities. I look forward to watching the town continue to grow and I will forever be grateful for the town of West Bridgewater. My favorite part about West Bridgewater is the West Bridgewater Hub. It is the uh, Facebook group. There's a lot that goes on there. I feel very informed when I read the West Bridgewater Hub. Thank you. Especially when they fight. It's very funny. <coughs> and sometimes I even join if I'm feeling frisky.
<laughs> oh, um, I'm gonna actually um, when I graduate my future plans are to create a fake Facebook account where I join the hub pretend to be a resident and start all the arguments if I get kicked out I'll just make a new one any more questions yes. okay um.